Uh, here's the next installment, number six. Uh, hang on, folks. Next week, we'll start flipping, and you'll see whether this is working or not. Yesterday, the temperatures reached 99 degrees with a little breeze. Uh, plants are showing a slight need for water, although they don't get thirsty very easily this year. And uh, so I'm going to apply some a cup of ESC to each two plant. Two ounces were weighed into the metal cup after it was placed on the scale to establish its tear weight and zero the scale out and put in with one gallon of water. As I said, one cup per plant. And that's it. All of the crops except for these three end plants, which are the controls, were fed ESC. It will sit for one hour and then uh, application of more nutrients and a thorough watering. Today. A couple hours have gone by since the ESC was delivered to the plants. Now uh, about three day old compost tea mixture that was described earlier is being, has been, the bucket has been filled. It's time to apply them to the plants. A healthy, oh, cup and a half, two cups per plant. We must apply it like we did the ESC. Sort of spiral out from the, so you get the root ball below. And then I'll wait about 15 minutes after all of the plants have had the, the tea, compost tea <clears throat> applied to them. And then I water heavily, about uh, two gallons per plant. And then afterwards, we'll, I'll do some overhead spraying. is to water the tops of the plants pretty heavily so as to bend the branches down and put weight on them to simulate what's going to happen when they start to form heavy buds to strengthen the branches basically you're giving the plants some exercise to prepare them for bud bearing looks like you got a little moisture in the camera there huh yeah, that's the end for this report. Uh, give you another one in about a week. We'll see what's happening once the flower initiator has a few days to take effect.